Oh, yes. Hi guys and welcome back. So this is that special video that I told you about. It's a collaboration video and I like doing them because I mean I don't do them that often but it's just it's fun right it's a bit different to like collaborate with somebody and it is with Mel Soldera again I'll put her name on the screen and I'll obviously link to her below and we came up with the idea of doing a video on how to style pastels Be massive for spring I mean I don't need to tell you right as soon as you step out your freaking front door what you see in all over like in the shop windows displays all about the pastel story we gave ourselves a challenge we made sure we shopped from one store only so we shopped from Zara I haven't done Zara in ages actually have I and then we had to come up with five outfits based on pastels now it could have been head to toe Zara it could be a mix of some things in your wardrobe already then you add in those Zara pieces in that you bought I haven't seen hers yet I have no idea at the time of actually making this this styling video I don't know what she bought so we're going to surprise each other so when you finish watching this video make sure to click on my link below it'll take you straight to her channel and straight to her video and you can have a look at what she has come up with because trust me I'm itching to see what she's come up with as well. Anyway, that is it. So challenge is how to style pastels, five outfits, one shop. This is the vlog right now. Right, so I'm here, I've arrived. I'm gonna check out all this stuff and see what I can pull for outfits for pastels. And I'll let you know what my thinking process is as well as I'm like selecting. Okay, so this has caught my eye. It's like a sort of um, eggshell blue colour. Um, I'm going to give this a try and see how it looks on. As I've told you before, you can always break this up and wear these as separates. So I found these blouses and they're $25.99. And I just love the cut. Look at that sleeve. It's a drop shoulder effect, boxy cut. So you know it's going to be look really good, like tucked into something tighter as a bottom. And I picked out this beautiful like rose pink colour. I really like this uh, necktie and um, you can just do it however you want. This is, this is great. So. Yes, this is exactly what I was hoping I'd find. Men's, I'm in the men's section. As you can see, definitely try on these men's drop crotch motorbike style jeans. I already own a pair in dark blue and this is a fantastic grey wash this is going to go so well with the pastels okay so I'm in the fitting room with all the pieces right here so let's do the try on session quickly um, I tried to cover a spectrum of pastels including something which maybe not be considered a pastel but it will anchor well with the others grey is the one sort of darker colour that anchors that complements pastels so so nicely Now I'm going to show you exactly how I decided to mix and match and style those pieces together. Ah! I'm so excited. Mel, I can't wait to see what you come up with, by the way. <laughs> so the first look that I came up is this. Now it is basically taking that blazer and just wearing it as is, as my top, because I kind of love that look. I mean, I've got fairly small light switches, so I find that it's easier for me, I think. Just add a little, I don't have it on now, but I would, if I was going out, i just put a bit of tip tape right there. I teamed it with these earrings I already have. These are from Mango. Uh, I've had my eye on these earrings for a while now. I love how they look. It's just a little bit feminine, but it's kind of edgy at the same time. I basically have the same denim jeans on. Now, this is what I was trying to tell you about before, which is, this is what I call an anchor piece. To me, when you're wearing pastels, uh, you can wear them with black, but I try not to. 
generally speaking, I like to just go with the lighter colours because that is what the whole story is about and that's what's so attractive about it. So the darkest I would go is these charcoal grey jeans and they are a drop crotch. I got them from the men's sections. Yeah, so that is my first look. I went with no um, pendants or anything around my neck. It was just focused on the either or theory that I have, which is if you're going with a statement earring, this is bare vice versa and uh, I'm so so in love with this so if you look at my liner as well I went with like this electric blue color because to me that's a good color that will go with everything that I have got outfit wise for this video but these are the Gandhi boots that I teamed them with and I just loved that look I just that squared off toe with a pair of jeans that cuts like this. I thought this was like perfect to complement with this look because it's a little bit boyish, but it's a bit more feminine as well. It's like walks that fine line that I love to always kind of talk about. To me, this is like the definition of how you can get in on the trend without having to feel like, oh, pastel, doesn't that mean like girly and stuff like that? No, it doesn't. And that's why I love it so much. So that is my outfit number one. I'm gonna show you the next one right now. Okay, so outfit number two is basically a tweak on the first one. I kept these, the blazer is the same as before. I just tried to show you sort of an evening version of how you can make the pastels work. And this is wearing the complete trouser suit together. I love it. Um, I teamed it with a pair of the Topshop sandals, the toe ring sandals, which you guys helped me with before. I feel like, I feel like you know, when I don't have somebody who can like, like text immediately for help, you guys just like come in, like bum rush my posts on YouTube and like say, get these, no that, no this, no that. And it really helps. I know you think it's confusing because like there's so many people saying what they think, but it actually does help me because you all give like reasonings as to why and I actually take those into consideration. And I think this is like like the super kind of, I hate to use the word chic, but it kind of feels like that, you know? Because it's just like a full on suit. Again, ditching wearing anything underneath it. But if you want, you can always wear like a camisole if you want. You can put a t-shirt, you can put a button down shirt underneath it and just wear it very um, like low opened. So you still got some skin showing. Your choice, this is about your comfort level and your particular style aesthetic. But me, I would go out exactly as you see me right now. It's very, very easy. It's also monochrome. It's just, oh, I love it. I'm so in love with like this look. I mean, I like the first one because it's like, it's a bit more edgy and it's like day wear. Right, where do I need to go? I need somewhere to go so I can wear this, don't I? Anyway, you can tell I'm really feeling myself. This is ultimate menswear vibes as far as I'm concerned. Okay, outfit number three. Now, these are the two separates that I found at Zara and I'm just pairing them together. Pink, that really like pale pink. Oh God, this is lovely. I, yeah, I love this. Look at this, it's just so flattering to me. Just long, a little bit of ruffle here, not too much though. This tie, I just love this. I just did it as like a simple knot on the side and you can got like the two strands that are hanging down. Let me show you here so you can see them. You could also put like a bow there and I think in the shop it was a bow, um, but I just, you know, do what you want. And I teamed it with the, the milk chocolatey colored pants. There's a like wide leg cropped pants. My eye was drawn to not just the cut of these pants, but it's that contrasting stitch. I, oh God, I love that. This is just, oh. Mmm, I'm feeling this outfit too. No, but, oh, you look and let me know which outfit you like the best out of the five. Um, but yeah, I like this one. Yeah, it's got like side pockets, so it's really easy to wear. Before in the beginning, I need anchor pieces. The charcoal gray jeans are, as is this, because it works with the suit as well. I could wear the jacket, the blazer with this, and it would work, but it also works with pinks, and I love pinks. And you know how I feel about yellows as well. This would also work. So it's a great, like I said, it's a good complementer for all of those pastel pieces. Yeah, I like this. It's good, right? God, pat yourself on the back. <laughs> but I, I oh, this is so good. Yeah, I like this. I like doing this. Mel, I need to see what you did. I hope we didn't end up getting similar pieces. Honestly, you watch. Anyway, let me just shut my mouth. Let me show you what's on my feet. <laughs> it is the mango boots. A follower told me how to stretch them and it worked. You're not gonna believe how to stretch them. I mean, <laughs> if you just see the tip on that, actually, I'm gonna put it down below in the description box. I did it. It worked, so 
there you go that's all i can say great daytime look it's soft it's comfortable for me it's a nod again to the pastel trend but you're not doing it necessarily head to toe glasses i went with these ones these are the transparent frame quay i think that's how you pronounce it it kind of picks up on the pan that kind of transparency kind of like brown color so i just thought these colors like all worked really well together for me, bag-wise, I would go with something like this. As I've told you before, um, a nude colored bag was one of those things that for me was missing in my wardrobe. And it is so said, so done. It does exactly what I wanted it to do, which is to go with a lot of things really well with this whole look together. <laughs> okay, so for look number four, I think this is, um, everything is like broken up. The only thing that I'm wearing from the Zara pieces is the blazer. I decided to just mix it in with my wardrobe just to show you that that's exactly what you obviously can do. <laughs> I teamed it with this t-shirt. It says Wonder Woman. It says Wonder right there. This is from L&M and I wanted to go with complementing different shades of pastel and just putting them together. So, Blazer is the only Zara new in piece. Teamed it with something in pink this time, and I'm actually wearing a skirt, and this is a DIY skirt. Um, you OG followers, you already know. I've always loved the idea of looking at something and not taking it at face value. You can always mix it up and wear it in different ways. Why the hell not? This is my twist ditch the t-shirt and just turn it into a top if that makes any sense so that's why I did just got rid of the t-shirt and just wore it done up and it kind of gives it a little bit it just gives it a slightly slightly different vibe that's really the only difference that I made but yeah I kind of liked it so I wanted to show it to you I think I might prefer the blazer when it's open for this look because then you can see the full look of the skirt but I still wanted to show this to you just off with these blue tinted aviator glasses god they need cleaning um, I've had these for a while now you guys have seen me wear these before and I just oh I love how they look with this particular color blazer there's no jewelry there's no earrings it's just keeping the focus all on the blazer and on your DIY skirt that is it it's kind of like minimal okay so now for outfit number five look I took that same blazer the reason why you're seeing the blazer appear so much is A, I'm a fan of the blazer and B, I just think it's such a versatile piece. It is so hyper-functional that it just, I just think it's, to me, at least with my aesthetic, it's just one of those pieces I have to have. So I have this dress. It's a long midi dress, floral print ruffled neckline and I wore a skinny belt just to kind of define the waist a bit and what I love is that the print in this picks up in the blue it's not just a dress and a blazer for the same trousers this matching suit I'm still wearing it the only difference is I've now added a long ruffled dress with it so look all right so that is oh I love I love I love I love shit like this right sorry sorry Sorry, sorry, sorry. But I've got to say it. I just love stuff like this, right? It's just a way to wear your dresses now while it's still a little bit cooler. But it's also a way just to put your own like personality on outfits, right? I'm looking in the monitor. That's why I keep going over there. But it just, ugh, why wear a suit the way it's given to you, like presented and styled? Think of out of the box ways to wear it or ways that just makes it feel way more you. And to me, this is something I would wear like if I was going to like a summer wedding, instead of seeing like a sea of women wearing like their floral dresses and their pastel colored dresses, why not go like this, right? Just go like this. I love when you can just like mix up. You don't have to like follow the status quo. Just come up with your own ways of wearing stuff. So this to me is like the perfect dress because it's kind of like slender cut and it's got a slight asymmetrical hemline. It's great, right? Like I said, this to me is like, for me, I would so go to a wedding dress like this because it's very Karen. And that to me is the power of styling. It should be very Sarah or very Daria or very Mel Soldera. It has to reflect you. You have to look at something and go, Someone will go to you, oh God, that's so you. You know what I mean? Because it is. So I'm wearing it with these fantastic heels. Now you can't really see them too much. I'll go in, I'll do cutaways so you can see what they look like. But they have this really pretty like zigzag pattern, orange and in red, which picks up on the dress 
perfectly. They're strappy, so it goes really well because I'm so covered up, so I have to wear something, at least to me, balance that out. Very, very dressed up, but feeling like you haven't lost yourself at the same time. Now, in terms of a bag, I would go for either two options. Um, one, I would go, again, if this is pretending I'm going to like a wedding or something that's more like a formal spring or summer event, I would probably go with a white clutch. That would just tie everything together because white, like I said, is a good neutral. Or as an alternative, I would go with my Mark Cross bag, not necessarily for like a wedding exactly, because this is like too big in my opinion, but I just like, just for the styling purpose of this video, I just really like the color of this Mark Cross. It's just. It's just so different, but it's very me, like I just said. So yeah, God, so that is it. Those are my five outfits that I wanted to show you for an inspirational idea on the video on how to style pastels. Five outfits only, one store. I'm dying to see Mel what you came up with. Don't forget, I'll put her link of her, her video below so you can see and check it out. Um, I have no idea what she came up with. I hope that these inspired you a little bit. The whole point was that I wanted them to be, A, like I said before, they needed to be interchangeable with each other, and B, they need to be able to work with your existing wardrobe at the same time. So that is my, I, got, I tell you, I'm really feeling this one though. I know this is not for everyone, right? This kind of look is just not. I just feel like this is like, oh, I don't know, Karen, you know. But, you know, it's just one of those things. See, I wouldn't even really do it like that. Although you could. <gasps> Hold on, wait. See, I kind of like it like that. You know why? It's because of the heel. The heel is kind of just making the skirt work like this. Right? Oh, oh, I like this as well. Like just double, like just do up the jacket completely. <gasps> I like this. God, I need to go and shoot this now. Oh, this is just so, oh, anyway. So you get the whole point. It needs to inspire, it needs to excite you. It's all play at the end of the day. This is not rocket science. And the whole point is that you just don't lose yourself. Never lose yourself in a trend, never. I don't care what the trend is. Never look like someone where the trend is wearing them versus the other way around. You just don't want to look like that victim. If you liked it, give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And you can follow me on Instagram. I am Karen Britchick over there. Um, I usually take you guys with me when I'm going either shopping or I'm walking around New York City. I know a lot of you like to see what the city looks like over here as I do. You know what, after all these years, I still love the city, like just looking at it. But anyway, Oh, enough. I've been saying, but anyway, like 10,000 times. I'm going to go now. Um, I hope this video was helpful for you. And like I said, check out Mel's below. The link is there and have a look what she came up with because I'm about to have a look as well. Anyway, take care and I will see you on Friday. pastels all right so this video is about how to style pastels 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 this is an easy word and as soon as I hit record I can't say it so that is it that is my lot that oh that ugh, that ugh. Oh, my hair could it be any bigger what could it be any bigger probably could actually if I just keep picking it out I'll just keep going and going and going and going Exactly.